Welcome to Rolling Stone News, I'm Elvis Metcalf. The most popular cannabinoid is Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, the primary psychoactive compound known to provide all the stereotypical effects of getting high. But a lesser-known cannabinoid, Delta-8-THC, with about half of the psychoactive potency of Delta-9-THC, seems poised to challenge its dominance. For people who want to feel the psychoactive effects of Delta-9 yet find it gives them paranoia or anxiety, Delta-8 is a quasi-legal and significantly cheaper option available online. The cannabinoid was arguably legalized in December 2018 when the Farm Bill passed, but the legality surrounding Delta-8 remains complicated. Joseph Holscher, founding member of the Texas Association of Cannabis Lawyers and longstanding member of the Normal Legal Committee says, quote, while Delta-8 THC is legal if derived from hemp, the process most commonly used to produce Delta-8, synthetically altering CBD into Delta-8 THC, probably isn't legal. A DEA spokesperson told Rolling Stone that the agency is currently undergoing the rulemaking process regarding the implementation of the Agriculture Improvement Act of 2018 and would therefore not be able to comment on Delta-8 until the process is complete. Nicholas Warrender, CEO of Lifted Made, which sells hemp and hemp-derived products throughout the U.S., says, quote, I think the Delta-8 will dwarf the CBD market and can be bigger than any other cannabinoid in any other space. In many ways, Delta-8 is the bridge between the hemp industry and the cannabis industry, as it can be used recreationally, not just medicinally. Despite the burgeoning success of Delta-8 over the past year, the attention it's been getting from law enforcement indicates that any day could be the cannabinoid's last. Thanks for watching. For more on this story and all your culture news, visit rollingstone.com.